Hey guys, our fan, the storybooks are back. If we have to part five of the backyard games, say please, a book about a book about manners. And now we just have a designs differently from had the comparison, and now we could get five, part five. That 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 request for Cody Smith. It is I, Princess Cleo, Cleo Tasha of the Agent Egypt, says Tasha. It's, it's great to have a big palace and the servants who wait on me. Hey, where are my servants anyway? Princess Cleo Tasha clapped her hands. Servant Tyrone, Servant Pablo, Servant Austin. Time to wait on me. The three loyal... Oh, royal servants, hurry over to her. I'm thirsty, she said. Bring me a glass of water. But there is no wonder. A water. Oh, princess, says Pablo. The Nile River has dried up. Well, fill it back up, says the princess. Oh, you can, oh, princess, says Austin. You must ask Spinequa to tell you the secret of, um, of the secret of the Nile. Only then will the water return. But, but first, you must bring her three presents. They hang over all over the Egypt, says Tyrone. And uh, and we will help you to find them, says Austin. Princess Cleotasha and her loyal royal servants set up to find the presents. There's only one thing about. Princess Cleotasha says Pablo. She's never seen please, whispered Tyrone. Or thank you, mumbled Austin. What's the first present for the spy servant, Tyrone? asked Princess Cleotasha. It's called the Jewels of the Water, answered Tyrone. It is a find inside the hidden pyramid. And they walk and walk and finally stop up the valley the pyramids. Then they noticed Servant Tyrone was leaning against something, something that they could, couldn't ever seen. See, it was a hidden pyramid. Whoosh, a door open. I found it, the princess yelled, grabbing the huge jewel, the first present for the sprite. She handed it to the Tyrone. It's heavy, you carry it, she ordered. After him, she never said please, he muttered himself. Okay, what's a second present, servant Pablo? Asked the princess. It's the yellow lotus flowers that grows on the, on the cliff of Kayak, said Pablo. Let's get going, she ordered. And don't forget my stuff. The three loyal royal servants. Again... Once again, she hadn't forgotten to say please and thank you. Along, after a long journey, they arrived at the cliffs of the kayak. How are I supposed to get up there? asked the princess. The stairs, oh, princess, ex Pablo explained. You go first, she ordered. Servant Pablo shook his head. Once again, she had not asked nicely. Up, up, they climbed. At the top of the cliff was a beautiful meadow filled with a colorful lots of flowers. Suddenly, Servant Pablo spotted on the yellow, only the yellow flower, and pointed to them. Ooh, the yellow lotus flower! I found it! The princess cried. She plucked the flower and handed it to the Pablo. You carry it. I have to walk down all those stairs. So do I, Pablo says quietly as he followed her downstairs. Down, her down the stairs. Behold, I found the second present for the spine, announced the princess as she reached each the bottom of the crib. Two presents down, one to go. Where to next? To get the third present, we must travel to secret oasis, says Austin. Remind me, what is that oasis? asked the princess. It's a green place with the trees and water in the middle of the desert. Austin replied. Let's get that last present now, ordered the princess. And don't 
forget my stuff. And three loyal royal servants were all thinking the same thing. She forgot to say please again. They all walk and walk until they reach the secret of waste. The third present is a drinking one a drinking of water from the secret of waste, says Austin. Hand it, hand it the princess a golden cup. Great, I got a third, third present, the princess cheered. She scooped up the crystal clear water and handed it to the servant Austin. You carry it, she demanded. Now, I have a three all presents. It's time to go talk to that spine. Let's go, my loyal royal servants, to spine Nikwa. They traveled through the desert, and they all dry up banks of Nile. At last, they saw a spite Iniqua. Greetings, spite Iniqua, said the, said the princess. I'm a loyal princess Cleotasha, and I have brought you th th three presents. They are the jewel of waters, the lasses flowers, and the golden cup of water from the secret oasis. Thank you so much, says Spainiqua. What a lovely presence. Do you get them all by himself? Yourself? Of course not, old Spine, replied the princess. My loyal royal servants help me, and they carry all my stuff. I see. Did you say thank you for all their help, says uh, Spainiqua asked. Well, no, said the princess, but you will tell me the secret of the Nile. So there will be water in Egypt again. Okay, replied the spine. The secret is to almost everything is to always say please and thank you. You will s you can start by saying thank you to your servants who did all the work for you, whispered the spine equal to the princess. The princess looked surprised. Then she turned to her servants. Thank you for t telling me. And doing all of the work, she said nicely. You're welcome, said the, all three of them together. And thank you, all spine, for the telling me of the secret of the Nile, Princess Cleotasha said. You're welcome, said the spine. And just like that, the Nile River began filling back up with water, everyone cheered. And now you won't say all please join me for a snack? Tasha asked them politely. Thank you, we love to, said everyone else. And they went back to Tasha's house for snack. And that's for part five. Thanks for watching.